Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here, and welcome to, well, I don't really know what to call it, to be honest. It's like, it's basically Dino Mines, but with frozen altars. I guess, really, I guess probably the best thing to call it's probably just something altars, like maybe Desert Altars or something. I know it's a little bit generic of a name, but I mean, yeah, it's cool. So, it is primarily using textures and there is like one minor texture glitch i could not figure out which you just saw in the door there but it shouldn't be too prominent um basically i wanted to use textures mainly from spyro 3 but i also was able to use some textures from spyro 1 as well and if you can notice them uh i will point them out in the comment section if if you can I'm 95% sure I did end up using it. I just have to, I actually did a fair bit of um, editing myself. Like I sort of edited some of the textures and to make, make them fit. Like particularly a lot of the stuff on the floor here, see like that. That was intentional. Now, before I go on, I just want to quickly mention something that has happened uh, in the past few days that only people on my Twitter, which is very much just an echo chamber of me complaining about uh, wrestling, and really it's pointless if you like my YouTube channel, probably shouldn't go subscribe, but I actually had some surgery. Uh, I was like basically gum surgery. I basically had to uh, get my gum like pulled down and like fixed because it, like something had happened with a toothpick long story short, and I basically had like, my gum had receded, so it sounds pretty horrible, and it actually was, um, so I'm currently in a bit of a healing process, hence why my videos have been a little bit uh, less, uh, what's the word, uh, frequent lately, a bit less frequent, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm recovering now, I'm basically eating soups, that's pretty much what I'm doing, drinking soups and uh, all sorts of stuff like that, I can't eat like properly, fully, for the next six weeks. So that's gonna be pretty crazy, but I'll be able to get in the next, in like another five days, I'll be able to eat like a lot more things like pasta, rice, you know, all the stuff that's basically just not hard. Anyway, let's talk about the game. Let's talk about this texture hack. It's been a while since the last texture hack. I've got a special one coming up, which all I have, the only details I have with it is that it's gonna have Mr. Mose doing music, most likely. Uh, it's gonna be Spyro 2, and it's going to be somewhat of a crossover again but I'm looking forward to that. So I actually haven't came up with what the actual level is gonna be, which is kind of, kind of funny, but yeah. So, oh, my, I think I'm playing this in French. I, you know, I like, something happened with the, like something happened with the game where it ended up going to French because of what I did with the Head Bash Apocalypse. I actually shit you not. Like that's, that's actually what happened. So what I quite like is, for example, there's like the Dino Mines textures over here. See, this is, the lighting sort of makes it weird, but this is like basically the red textured sort of walls in Dino Mines. I turned them blue and kind of gave them a bit more noise, which sort of makes them look a bit more dirty. It's like a dirtier wall, but the black is sort of more prominent than it was in the original uh, picture. I just love the, I just love the lighting and how, um, just how sort of, I don't know, like it, it's just, it's so warm and like almost, almost over exaggerated, but that's kind of the point. I also love the idea that it's actually sort of snowing in here, even though, well, you know, it shouldn't be in any conceivable way. This is basically a freak of nature. It's a freak of the Spyro universe. Uh, I would love to make a desert and ice level. And I have a feeling that one day, maybe you guys, maybe you'll see a Spyro desert and ice level, whether it's a texture hack or something else. I'm, I'm sure that one day, my dream will become a reality. So I'm sorry if I do it a little bit slurry as well because you should see you look like a fucking swollen potato. It's a disgrace. I'm so swollen right now. This has become a, this isn't even a let's play or a, um, this isn't even a let's play or, or a, like, a, what's the word, a texture hack. It's basically Crystal Vicious medical files. So next we're gonna go through my uh, booper number and we're gonna go through all of my uh, medical history. We're gonna, go, we're gonna watch some dental records. I think that'd be, that'd be great. I mean, look, Spyro's great, but I think, you know, dental records and, and medical procedures, that's that's where the rage is all at. You know, Jake Paul, that's gonna be his next, his hit. All right, so yeah, sorry, but it looks, it's a little bit glitchy there. I, I do apologize for that, but I mean, I think it still looks okay. Ooh, good. What's his name? What's his name? Gross? Su? Grosso? Was? 
Thank you. Parler. Parler? All right, so let's go into the... Oh, this looks weird. This looks really weird. But you know what? Ooh. I dig it. I dig it. Look at this. It's... Well, I haven't even explained the ice breath. That's even weirder. But I kind of like the fact that uh, it's now just completely invisible. I don't know how that happened. I don't know why it happened. But all I know is that I am walking on what appears to be... I'm just going to say this is water. I'm going to say that I'm now actually just floating on water because there's no there's no ice texture. So it's just, oh, I guess, the, the reflection. Uh, that theory's been thrown out the window. All right, let's have a chat to old Errol. Ooh, Errol of uh, Jack and Daxter, Jack 2 and Jack 3 fame. Okay, so you can see the blue is really, really blue here. That's because of the lighting. Essentially, look at the lighting, right? If you look at it, it's basically just entirely... Um, it's basically just entirely like it's gone blue again even though I've like tried to fix it you know the fix is in oh, shit so it might my, my goals over here I, this, I haven't played this for a while this this challenge but let's suppose back in like oh, shit, 2014 something let's see yeah okay it is it is over there it's coming isn't there a skill point that you have to get like five of them in a row or something gee how could I not even remember that is, I, maybe it is maybe it isn't if it isn't if it isn't it should be all right, come on. That's that's win. That's at least at least give give my fans a win. You know, send the crowd home. Ha send the crowd home happy. You know, you got the terrible news about uh, my bloody surgery, and now all of a sudden, oh shit! Let's stop him now before he can we can we shoot him into goals? That'd be great. There you go. Stay over there, motherfucker. Tucker is here, motherfucker. Okay. Anyone that's a fan of oh shit. Taka Michinoku would uh, appreciate that reference now. Okay, come on, let's, let's, let's at least, you know, oh god, as I was going to say the exact same joke, but seriously, the crowd needs to be sent home happy here. This is going to get a massive babyface pop. If I can win, no, no, sorry mate, oh, it's over, he's won. Wait, I'm wasting my time in here, this has just become a let's play part. Okay, let's do this, here we go, here we go, here we go, oh, here we go, oh fuck. I've lost. I've lost. Oh, we oui. non, non. Got any French fans in mind right now? You've probably you're no longer fans, aren't you guys? You've probably just like this guy, this poser, this English piece of poo. All right, let's get out of here. Let's traverse to the end of the level. Now this level, yeah, it had a lot of texture glitches. Some of them I basically couldn't figure out. Oh, I didn't even point out that the skybox is from the beautiful. Glimmer, which I've sort of played with a little bit, given a bit of a different flair. I mean, Glimmer is such a simple skybox, and I mean that in the best possible way. Like, it's a fantastic skybox, and it just, it suits everything. So, um, I, have, I have nothing against it, don't worry. Uh, that is that is a resounding compliment. Now, let's get that egg. Let's get Jasper, my good old friend, Jasper Peak. Shout out to you, brother. Okay, uh, let's... Let's go home. Okay. Let's go through here again and get to the portal. See, why does it have to be like glitch like that? Why does it have to change texture? It should not change. It should The long and distance and short distance one should be the same. But yeah, that's a problem with uh, the actual way Spyro does its textures. Not Spyro at it. It's not Spyro at its fault at all. Um, if anything, I could have just made the entire door that. Maybe that would have been... Actually, you know, that probably would have been a better idea. Now, anyway, I need to figure out another way. There is a way of getting... Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to show it off. So here's how you get into skipping paying money bags for our good friend Bentley, Zietti. What you have to do is... I remember doing this. Is, I remember I've got a video of this from like 2010 or maybe even 2009. I think it was 2010. And basically, it's me doing this and showing you how to skip money bags so basically yeah skip paying money bags earlier no that's right oh yeah 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 okay that's skip that's skipping paying money bags for that um the cat hockey thing however i believe you may be able to do it for this if not i might just head bash apocalypse my way in there let's see all right so we've got that oh uh, i don't know okay yeah, see, I think in this, I think that we can't actually do it. I might just have a look. 
Okay, so this is going to be an interesting strategy of how I'm going to actually get into this area here. I'm going to... Oh, is that a... Okay. That's the section over there. Alright. Now, where is the portal? Okay, it should be over here. Now, I'm going to save state. And now I'm going to see if there's a way of me being able to just push down. Oh, could that be it? Nope, I'm not able to walk in yet. And yet the portal is right there. Okay, although it isn't. It actually isn't, that's the magic of it all, is that it's actually not there. Yes! Enough persistence, it paid off. Oh, ooh, cool looking room here. Alright. Here we are, here's boxing. Again, it doesn't look that, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. The walls, I wish the walls were less blue. I mean, I could change that, but yeah, I have to like custom do this. Now, I, remember, I used to be pretty crap at, at boxing. I was going to say spectre boxing, I used to be pretty crap at that too. See, I always, I, always, I remember, I remember like, the second round, like, you know, the trick is, they say that like, there's, there was like a strategy and they did actually make it uh, intentionally um, more difficult like if you won one in a row or something like that for the next one you know you could win the first one all right the second one would you'd struggle also I remember I think there was a skill point no there was a skill point in this level that involved yeah having to beat him like just I think ending him in two rounds okay well I'm gonna destroy him here oh no he killed me all right well that's two for two in terms of failed challenges and look at him dance Dance, Yeti, dance. I would kill that Yeti. Oh, Bartolo, Bartolomeo. That sounds like Italian. Bartolomeo. Okay. Well, no, I'm not querying again. And I'm not como voy a consig, conse, consig, a hora que me devo. Yeah, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead because I'm just flat out awful now. And I cannot, bl oh shit. Well, we had a good run. We had a good run. This, this, I think this, this uh, signals the end of the texture hack, which has become another head bash apocalypse part in essence. But don't worry, guys. I'll be back with more head po bash apocalypse stuff soon, and I'll be back with more texture hacks soon as I send you out with a game over. Thank you for watching. Game over, and I'll see you later. Yeah! Do I begin?